Torque. Uh, all the Audis, of course, come standard with Quattro all-wheel drive. And we are on a little bit of a kind of a big gravel road here. Um, it's been raining out, so things are a bit muddy. And all of this, of course, means that this gives us an excellent opportunity to show off some of the characteristics of this car. So the turbo uh, diesel with the automatic shutoff feature. The engine's just shut off for us because we've come to a stop. Um, cold weather, that sometimes doesn't work all the time, um, just because it is cold out and the engine wants to stay warm. But it's a nice day out for the most part, and so the automatic turnoff feature is working. Um, now we have three main versions of the Q5, and they are the Q5 with the two liter uh, turbocharged engine that's putting out 220 horsepower, 258 pound-feet of torque. And you get a huge torque figure from those forced induction engines because of the um, turbocharging effect. You get a lot of low end torque. And the two liter is a lot of fun to drive. And if you watched my other video featuring the two liter where I was driving with Dave Sandusky, um, I commented on just how much fun it was to drive, especially with this eight speed uh, Tiptronic transmission. It does a great job of releasing a lot of energy from the engine. The 3 liter supercharged engine at 272 horsepower and 300 foot pound of torque is an incredible machine. Um, it's a lot of power. It's probably more power than you need in this Q5 application, um, but it's there for people who want kind of a high performance, uh, really super sport vehicle um, or super sport uh, compact luxury crossover. So, and finally, we get to the TDI, which is the diesel engine. So again, 200 horsepower, 428 pound-feet of torque. And what that torque figure means is that you have incredible acceleration out of this vehicle. Um, your top end will probably start to fade out around 130 kilometers an hour. So if you're trying to go faster than that, uh, it'll start to take some time to accumulate speed. But right from a standing start to 130 kilometers an hour, you'll have plenty of get up and go in the vehicle. So we got a straight road ahead of us. It's gravel, we've got Quattro all-wheel drive on this. And we're gonna test the suspension a bit here too. It's a fairly smooth gravel road, but it's a little bit ripply in spots. Um, so we'll see just how suited this Q5 is to off-pavement um, situations. So without further ado, I'm gonna let off the brake, the engine will start up, and then I'll give it some gas. We have the S-Line Sport Package on this vehicle. It's the progressive package, so not the technique. So it's um, kind of the middle of the range. Uh, but we do have paddle shifts, which uh, I really like. So I'm gonna use that if I can during this standing start. So off the brake, engine's gonna start. Here we go. <laughs> Test the brakes. All right. And again. Oh. Perfect poise, balance, and handling under full throttle there with that full 428 pound feet of torque. Um, and the whole car is kind of squirming as it accelerates because we are, of course, are on mud. But this Quattro all wheel drive system doing just a fantastic job to find grip and to keep the vehicle pointed in a straight line. There's a nice bit of road there too. Let's hit this. So again, it's pretty muddy, some potholes and stuff. It's absorbing all of those bumps. It's just absolutely absorbing. Road's getting pretty rough now. And this vehicle, the Q5, has a very kind of sporty feel on uh, the open road. Um, high-speed driving, etc. It feels planted, level. Uh, it's almost like you can carve the car uh, along the roads. And uh, what's happened here is on this gravel road, the suspension has kind of transformed itself and is absorbing all the bumps in the road as well. So this is actually pretty comfortable. And this diesel, oh my god, <laughs> it makes for a rally car sensation out here. Um, it just picks up and goes. So with the S-Line, we've also got this uh, flat bottom kind of sport race steering wheel here. Uh, look at that. 
very cool road. And again, this uh, Q5 is just mastering this terrain. A little bit of a cattle guard here. And it will turn around. <laughs> Enough cannot be said about the Quattro all-wheel drive system on this vehicle. Uh, you can get it with torque vectoring as well, and they do that um, electronically through the uh, rear center differential. So they have some clutches uh, and gears that they'll gear the two axles, or the drive axles, um, for. So they'll change the gearing on the one on the inside of the turn to make it turn more slowly. And that naturally transfers more torque to the axle that's spinning more quickly, which will be your outside uh, rear tire. And that has the effect of yawing the vehicle through the turn. And that sort of torque vectoring is used for two reasons. One, for maintaining a straight line for the vehicle, and also for improving the handling in corners. So it gives it more of a, an agile feel through the corners, because uh, it's more likely to turn in. And of course, in racing, the whole idea is that you steer the car with the throttle and the brakes with a little application from the steering wheel. So you might start the turn with the wheel, but then under braking, your back end gets light, then you can get the back end to come around, uh, sliding across the asphalt, and then you give it gas, which plants it, and off you go. So cornering is made faster through a little bit of yaw. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Oh my God, it's just absorbing everything. <sighs> what an incredible road and an incredible vehicle. You know what, I actually didn't think the Q5 would do this well on this sort of terrain. Um, primarily because it felt so solid on pavement. But it's redeemed itself to a huge amount on this road. Again, wow. Wow. <laughs> okay, obviously I haven't... Uh, driven or test driven the Q5 on such a rugged road before. I'm super impressed with the, the handling and the response. Even the response through the steering uh, is extremely precise. I'm able to uh, control all the little yawing movements from the car as it struggles to find grip. So, and then the brakes too. Excellent braking. We can even get on the stones here. Traction control kicking in. Yeah, you can feel it adjusting.